Dear viewers, greetings. In this present video, we are going to see about the phase contrast microscope. The phase contrast microscope is a type of light microscopy technique uh, which is used to enhance the contrast of the image of the transparent and the colorless specimens. Uh, this phase contrast microscope was uh, first described in the year 1934 by the Dutch physicist uh, Fritz Zernick and later in 1953 uh, for his uh, discovery of phase contrast microscope he, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in the physics category and the phase contrast microscope also enables the visualization of cells and cell components on the cell organelles that would be difficult to see using an ordinary light microscope. Like the phase contrast microscope is especially used for the examination of internal structure in the living microorganisms. In addition, for the phase contrast microscope, it is not necessary to fix the microbes, that is the fixing of microorganisms in the glass lights or stain the specimens. For phase contrast microscopy, uh, heat fixation and staining is not necessary. Okay, without uh, doing the heat fixation and the staining, we can directly visualize the organisms under the phase contrast microscope. Uh, in phase contrast microscope, the specimen is uh, contrasted against the gray background. Next to the, in some cases, the fluorescent stains can be used in combination with the phase contrast to further improve the visualization of the samples and the phase contrast microscope is only ideal for the thinner samples if in case uh, you have the thin uh, thicker samples means it need to be visualized under the high resolution of the modified version of the phase contrast microscope that is differential interference contrast or DIC microscope Okay, for thin samples, we will visualize under the phase contrast microscope. If the plane, if the sample is sample or specimen is very thick, means the recommended microscope is the DIC or differential interference contrast microscope. Regarding the working principle, the phase contrast microscope contains the parts like the eyepiece or ocular lens objective specimen this region is specimen uh, this is the condenser lens uh, the annular ring or annular diaphragm and the light source uh, the majorly used light source for the phase contrast microscope is the tungsten halogen lamp the the appearance uh, looks like an ordinary look like the ordinary light microscope uh, but the Phase contrast microscope contains uh, two special parts. One is the annular ring or annular diaphragm, which is present below the condenser lens. The second one is the face plate or the face plate or the diffraction plate, uh, which is present near present above the uh, objective lens that is in simple in between the objective lens and the ocular lens or eyepiece. So the two special structure is one is the annular ring which is present below the condenser. Second one is the face plate or diffraction plate which is present in between the objective lens and the eyepiece or the ocular lens. And first the light, the light from the light source the light source is usually the tungsten halogen lamp. The light from the light source is directed through a specialized annular diaphragm or the annular ring. And uh, the light from the annular diaphragm or annular ring will illuminate the specimen through the condenser. Through the condenser, the light from the annular ring illuminates the specimen. Okay, the phase contrast microscope uh, 
produce two sets of uh, light rays. One is the direct light. Second one is the scattered light. The one set of light rays comes directly uh, from the light source that is called as direct light. This is this this light is called as the direct light. Second one, the two other the two other set of components light uh, that is diffracted. This is the scattered light. Okay, the first one is this is direct light. The second one is the scattered light. The scattered light is also uh, called as the direct uh, direct rays or uh, diffracted rays. Okay, when the two sets of light, that is this direct light and the scattered light, are brought together in a diffraction plate or the face plate, they form a image of the specimen on the ocular lens containing the areas uh, that are relatively light through the uh, shades of the black or gray. Okay, the two light rays, the direct light rays and the scattered light rays combinedly pass into this, the face plate or the diffraction plate and forms the image on the eyepiece. Okay, this is the working principle of the face contrast microscope. Next to this, uh, this figure uh, shows the bacterial rods under face contrast microscope. And this image shows the budding yeast cells under the face, con face contrast microscope. Uh, this image shows the fungal mold under the face contrast microscope. That is the Aspergillus uh, species. Uh, this image shows the freshwater microalgae under the face contrast microscope. Uh, this figure shows the microalgae chlamydomonas under the face contrast microscope. And this shows the ciliated protozoa paramecium species under the face contrast microscope. The next is the uses of uh, face contrast microscope. The face contrast microscope is used for studying the unstained cells, microbial motility, uh, shape of the living cells, uh, internal structure and uh, cell organelles in the, in the microbial and other cells, bacterial components like cell inclusion and endospores, fibers, glass filaments, thin tissue slices and the eukaryotic cells. That's all about the face contrast microscope. Thank you for your support. Thank you.